This is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to install apps with Homebrew. One of the great things about Brew is being able to install apps. I've talked about how to install a few utilities to use in the terminal, but Brew is a package manager, which means it has many of the benefits of a dedicated app store without having to assume the responsibilities of those apps. It points you to those apps and gives you a method to install them, but you can still go and download the same apps via a different method. And there are a lot of apps that you can install this with, including 1Password, Android Studio, Audacity, Better Touch Tool, Bitwarden, Chrome, Firefox, NetBeans, Steam, just to name a handful. So I'm going to show you the method for installing apps from the web and a way to install a bunch of apps all at once. If you're looking for a way to install apps from the Mac App Store via the terminal, there is a way to do that, but I plan to do that in a separate guide because there's a little more to it, while also being a little bit more limited. Also, all of these commands will be in the description. First, you might want to be able to search for apps. In order to know what you have available, you'll need to search for them on the brew.sh homepage or use the search command from your terminal. To search an app, open your terminal and type in the command brew space search and then the search term you want to look for. So if you want to look for Firefox, you would type in brew search Firefox. As you can see above, Firefox is available under Firefox, though there are other apps. Rule of thumb, casks are your typical graphical apps, and formula are primarily terminal utilities. You can limit your search to one or the other by adding the dash dash cask or dash dash formula right after the search command, such as brew space search space dash dash casks space Firefox. Many apps are available to install through brew, but not everyone is available. For one, most of the apps available in Brew are apps that are free or have free versions. So while Steam is available for download through Brew, many games that are only available in Steam are not. The paid apps that are available are usually ones where you have to install a license or sign in. The Microsoft Office Suite is available, but after install, you have to sign into your Office account to license it. Adobe Acrobat Pro and the Creative Cloud Desktop app are there, but not any of the other CC apps like Photoshop, Premiere, etc. Now let's say you want to install an app. The basic command to install an app from the web is brew space install space followed by the cask or formula name of the app you want. Installing Firefox from the previous example would be brew space install space Firefox. Now I already have it installed, but if I didn't have Firefox and wanted it, I'd hit enter and it should begin downloading and installing the app. Easy as pie. Again, it's important to use the cask name listed, otherwise you might not get the app you want, if at all. This is useful for the one-off app, but what about if you need to install a bunch of apps in one go? There's actually several ways to do this, so don't consider this an exhaustive list. I'm showing you a couple basic ones. Let's stick with the web browser theme and install Chrome, Brave, and Opera GX. One way to do this would be to list the apps one after the other in the command line. So we do brew, space, install, as before, but then add each app's cask name, followed by a space, and then the next cask name. To install these three browsers, then, would be brew space install space google dash chrome space brave dash browser space opera dash gx. Same thing as before, hit enter and watch them download and install. This is great for installing apps on a machine that's already been set up and in use, but for setting up a new machine, assuming you haven't used something like Time Machine or Carbon Copy Cloner, typing those one by one can be a little tedious. Set there's a way to make a list of apps in a text file and tell Brew to install apps from that list. As before, you'll need to make sure to use the package name rather than just the name of the utility. Example, brave-browser, not brave. Check the brew.sh page if you're uncertain. I also recommend making the list alphabetical in order because it's easier to see what you have on the list and to add or remove apps from it in the future. In your file, make sure to list each item separately either by placing a space between each item or by putting each listing on a new line, as I prefer to do for legibility purposes. Once you make your text list, you can then go to your terminal and type in brew space install space dollar sign open parentheses cat space, followed by the file path to your file. Since mine is on the desktop, the path is tilde 
forward slash desktop forward slash packages.txt close parentheses. Of course, you may choose to store this file somewhere else, such as in a cloud storage folder for safekeeping, or name your text file differently, meaning your path may look different. To make it easier, drag and drop the file icon for your text file from the finder into your terminal, and that path will be automatically filled out for you. Then hit enter, and watch your apps begin to install one by one. Now you can update the apps you install with Brew as well. If you ever used Linux and updated an app or the OS via the terminal, this may look similar. Use the command brew space update to have brew reach out and check for updates. Then to start the upgrade of those apps, you'll use the command brew space upgrade. Having said this, typically I found apps that have their own built-in updaters, particularly aggressive ones like Chrome, Dropbox, and Steam, usually update on their own outside of brew update. Whereas less aggressive apps or ones that use the Sparkle framework like Audacity, Handbrake, and Rocket are much more quickly updated via Brew should you choose to use this. There's a lot more to cover with this, which I may cover in another video, but for now, this is the core way to do it. Lastly, let's look at how you uninstall apps via Brew. This method only works for apps that you installed with Brew, so apps that you installed from the Mac App Store or a download can't take advantage of this method. And like before, you will need the cask name. But otherwise, it works much the same as the install command. Just type brew space uninstall, followed by the cask name, such as google-chrome. And if you want to uninstall multiple apps, you can also list them all out in the same line with a space between each of them. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and device, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the website, easyosx.net, as well as our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.